Uh, the good news is that the weather did clear up a bit today, and so I know for those of you who are here in Anchorage, you know that um, we did get a clear a clear day uh, this afternoon, and they also um, saw some improvement at Dillingham. That allowed our team uh, to be able to get up into the air and get to the accident site. Um, they also uh, had a very challenging hike um, in. And so uh, they have arrived um, at the accident aircraft, and I spoke to our investigators, one of our investigators, about a half an hour uh, ago, and they were at the accident site. They estimated that the airplane impacted the hillside about 800 to 850 feet uh, up the hillside, and then slid up the hill. Uh, the right float is underneath the airplane, and the left float is parallel to the left side of the fuselage. The fuselage um, appears to have rolled about 40 degrees to the left side and hit in a left wing, uh, slightly left wing down uh, attitude. The left wing and the left float were the first to uh, make contact with the ground. They noted that the fuselage is separated at about the instrument panel that the left wing is folded back at about a 45 degree angle and slightly intrudes into the cabin area. Um, we have no record uh, at this time of any distress calls from the accident aircraft um, and uh, no emergency transmissions. Uh, we did attempt to interview some of the survivors uh, who remain hospitalized, but due to um, their uh, medical condition, we were unable to uh, conduct those interviews today. We will continue uh, to work to try to do that, but clearly our first priority is their health and um, our thoughts and prayers continue to be with them uh, in their recovery.